need your help. Help you? What can I do? I'm a teacher. Give this to your MI6. Tell them you have a gift from the number one money launderer from the Russian Mafia. Is Ewan McGregor in too deep? He plays a tormented professor who gets caught up between the Russian Mafia and the British Secret Service. I thought I could just hand it over and be done with it. It's certainly not your average um, sort of thriller action lead, which is why I was attracted to him, I think, you know, to play. He's done something wrong in his life and, and, he, and his marriage has been affected by it and he's not, they're not happy. And there's, he's, he's just, it's just quite an interesting place to start a movie. Calm. <sighs> Despite dipping into the world of spies, a career change is not likely any time soon. I've never fantasised about being a spy. Uh, no, I never have. <laughs> I'm sure it must be very tedious. I mean, um, I don't have that. I'm not interested in conflict or... Um, I I'm certainly probably wouldn't be very good in a fight or... I don't want to shoot anybody. Trouble is, they'll only deal with us if you're there. In Paris. I can't get involved. I'm afraid you are involved. The film is based on a book by John le Carré and it comes hot on the heels of the writer's BBC blockbuster, The Night Manager. He's a brilliant storyteller and so it lends itself, he lends himself to being adapted for the screen, big or small. McGregor found fame as a drug addict in train spotting and two decades later he's getting another hit. We'll start shooting train spotting soon in the summer. How do you make sure that, that you don't trash the, the legacy of, of the first film that really kind of defined a, defined a generation? Yeah, we just, we, I, don't, I think we try not to worry about doing that and uh, we, make, we worry about making the script as good as it can be. The only sequels I've ever done have been the Star Wars ones and they were, they were prequels. And do you see future um, involvement in Star Wars and, and maybe spin-off films? I thought you were the leader here, Dooku. I'd like to do the story between episode three and then episode four, where, where Obi-Wan is played by Alec Guinness. I feel like there's got to be a story in there, maybe even a trilogy, or six films, or eight. Maybe we could, 12. This is quite a long time. I mean, there's certainly scope. Then you better hurry. A 12-ology? Will the budget stretch to that? Jack Leather, Five News.